Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Than, a.k.a. The Blind Tank, and I want to welcome you all to Dre's Corner Reloaded. Dre's Corner is a gaming podcast or vlog all about Blizzard games, Star Wars, or anything that I want to talk about. This podcast can go anywhere from 15 minutes to, hopefully not, two hours. So right now, I have a lot of stuff to talk about, um, some things. Now, you guys are going to also realize that, hey, wait a minute. What he's talking about happened about two, two and a half weeks ago. That's all right. The reason why I'm talking about it now is it's still relevant. Let's talk about the first thing that I have on my list this week, and that is TwitchCon. TwitchCon was September 28th and again like I said I know it's past and stuff like that but I wanted to let everybody know that did not see the stream of TwitchCon what you missed and what is freaking great about Twitch that is coming out next year in the first quarter and the second quarter in the second quarter uh, if you do not know there will be no more flash player it will be all HTML5 so the streaming and the picture will be great um there won't be any more of that hesitation and twitch problems with the channels when you're getting ready to stream and all of a sudden it's starting to hiccup and bleep and all kinds of crap like that so in the second quarter and what i understand early in the second quarter um we will be having that so thank you very much to twitch the next thing that is going to be uh, happening, and what I understand is going to be happening early next year, and that is called Playlist, or um, 24-7 Streaming. Now, as they had said at TwitchCon, every streamer needs to sleep sometimes, so basically what's going to be happening is all of your uh, streams that you've done, you want to constantly have it going on your stream you can add it to a playlist hit play walk away do whatever you need to do in real life stuff and go from there the other thing is is say like with me this um, podcast is going straight to YouTube after early next year I will be no longer using YouTube because Twitch will have the uploaded upload ability uh, that Twitch I and that YouTube has. Now, to me, this is great. It, for me, it's Twitch is a one-stop shop. You also don't have to worry about um, you know YouTube dinging you because it heard some music uh, from your game that you're playing and the blizzard and you know bioware says hey it's cool but youtube on the other hand says nope can't do it and they take your your stream down or whatever that you're doing down you can't get a hold of anybody in uh, youtube and if you do um it, it takes forever and they really don't care all that much about their uh streamers and what their streamers are doing twitch on the other hand um, you can, if you're having a problem and you can't get it fixed, you can call up Twitch and somebody on the other phone, not a computer, um, a real live person will pick up the phone and say, Hey, how you doing? How can I help you? This is great. It's great for the streaming community. It is great for the gaming community. And in it, the other thing that is really good for is for the new streamers that are trying to make it in in streaming itself I mean I'm I'm new I've been doing it for about two two and a half years I still consider myself a new and I still consider myself trying to learn exactly what these um, people who have been doing it for a long time what they're doing and how they're doing it so beginning of the year there's a lot of changes that are coming out with Twitch. I can't wait. Um, something else that had come out of TwitchCon, and I'm going to keep this with TwitchCon. Something else that came out of TwitchCon is a new streaming application called Game Show. Now, I'm not part of the Game Show 
um, you know, advertisement thing, but I want to give these people a shout out. Uh, they had released it at uh, TwitchCon and said, hey, you can use it for 60 days free um, and see what you think about it. I used it for two days and got the subscription. And basically, Game, game Show does this. It helps it, if you are a new streamer really easy to learn and add, learn and get yourself going and get yourself up and running the if you are a somebody who has been streaming for a long time um, and already know the ins and outs and how to put your widgets and all that kind of stuff into your stream they have that there for it too um, the game is eight dollars a month it is worth every penny um, I've been using it. People who have seen my stream have been commenting on how much better my stream looks. So if you want to check out Game Game Show, uh, go to GameShow.net. Check it out. It's really great. Um, I support it. I think it's absolutely cool. It's much better than XSplit. Um, and again, it is rookie friendly so again ladies and gentlemen check it out that is it for twitchcon let's get into a little bit of world of warcraft and blizzard gaming all right ladies and gentlemen let's talk about blizzard news there isn't really a lot of blizzard news coming out other than blizzcon and you can find that out at mmo dot mmo champions dot com um Excuse me. Like I said, that's MMOChampions.com. They have a list, a tentative list, of what is going to be going on at BlizzCon on the first and second day. Uh, I can tell you this. They are going to be talking about, of course, World of Warcraft, uh, the Legion. And they are going to talk about what is coming up with um, StarCraft. What is going to be happening to StarCraft since... All of the storylines and all the story arcs are now ending. Where they're going to go with it and how they're going to proceed. Uh, I understand also there's going to be a Diablo 3 talk. Hopefully there's going to be an expansion. Keeping my fingers crossed. Um, there's rumors that we may or may not see a trailer of the movie. Again, keep your fingers crossed. Um, and of course their new um, uh, first person shooter Overwatch they're going to talk more about it and also when they are going to be releasing the beta and that's it for um, Blizzard news however when BlizzCon comes I'm going to be uh, sitting here I've got my virtual ticket ready I'm, I've got my notepad and my uh, pencils ready to take notes so I can give you guys what's what's going on and what I've seen and what uh, I understand that's going to be going on for World of Warcraft, Starcraft, uh, Diablo 3, Overwatch, and all of the different games that they have and what they're going to be working on. So the next thing that we're going to be getting into is Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, some of the news that I'm going to be telling you guys about, uh, guys and gals, about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic with the new expansion. Some of it has been out for a week and a half, two weeks, a little bit more. The reason why I've been waiting for it uh, and trying to condense everything is because the blogs that uh, BioWare has been sending out, um, if I reported on everything... Um, I'd have 20 pages of notes to tell you guys, and this podcast would be about four or five hours long. Um, I want to, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, a couple of people uh, a little bit later, but thanks to these guys and what they're, uh, what they have done, they've, uh, they've actually helped me boil down what I'm going to be talking about. So let's get started with the new expansion of Knights of the Old Republic. 
when you start Knights of the Old Republic, if you haven't, um, according to uh, Bioware, if you have not gone and finished all uh, your storylines with the Hut Cartel, uh, the uh, Revan expansion, you need to complete it because once you hit that play button, that's going to be it's going to be a purple button at the top uh, right of your uh, uh, screen. Once you hit that, it automatically completes it. You cannot go back to that storyline. So make sure that you've got all your uh, stories done, um, and then uh, hit the play button, and you automatically go into the next uh, into the next expansion, which again, like I said, is Knights of the Old Republic. I'm I know a, a bunch of spoilers, but I'm not going to give any spoilers. I want to respect everybody who has gone and said. Yeah, I know uh, Star Wars has been at TwitchCon and showing part of the uh, the first chapter, part of the third chapter. Not, go- I don't want to see any of it. So I'm going to respect people who have gone and said I'm not going to to look at it. So let's uh, let's talk about a little bit of the gameplay and stuff like that that's going to be going on. Once you hit max level, or even if you um, don't hit max level and you're going through the different worlds. Um, All worlds from the launch of Knights of the Republic uh, will be level synced. So I'm gonna give you all an example because I play mostly Empire. If you are an Empire player and you go, let's say you're level 55, um, you go to Drummond Koss, once you hit Drum and Koss and walk out of the spaceport, you will be dialed down to level 18. Now, you'll have a, a thing that says you're level 55, but you've been synced to the planet at level 59, level 18. Um, basically, what this does, it allows you to not only play with your friends and not blow through all of the content, which doesn't make it fun for your friends but what it does is it dials you back you still have all of your uh, you have your gear your stats are the only thing that goes uh, down you have all your skills everything like that Um, and you're not really overpowered for the planet but um, you're stronger than everybody else as they're getting ready to go off the planet so it helps out, and I, th- I think it's a really good thing. I've asked uh, uh, two of my friends that play Star Wars and asked them about this uh, uh, level sync on the planets, and they actually think it's pretty good. Now, there's, there's some complaints about level syncing on the planets. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do like it. I, on the other hand, I like it for those of you who are World of Warcraft think about it being kind of like the Time Walkers uh, uh, weekends that they do in World of Warcraft. It lets you see the old content. It lets you run with your friends. The other thing is, is if I'm level 55 and I've done the content it and I get to pick something up, it is uh, equivalent to what um, my level is. And my friend, their loot is equivalent to them, which I think it's really good. Um, they are also doing uh, doing this for the weekly heroics, the heroic, heroic planet heroics. Um, I can see that there there may be some problems um, the first couple of days of the week as people are doing their weeklies. But after that, I really don't see a problem in it. Um, now, gameplay is is uh, is going to be um, to me is going to be a lot of fun. You'll be able to play with your friends um, that you haven't been able to play with because, well, you know, like with me, I'm level sixty, and my friends that are just starting out, they're slowly building their characters, and they won't they won't be able to catch up with me when the new uh, um, 
when the new expansion comes out, I'll be able to play with my uh, low-level guild uh, guild mates uh, from World of Warcraft or from Star Wars that I've met that we have a common denominator. Okay, enough of that, enough of my ranting. Next thing that we have is stats. For those of you who have played um, Star Wars for a very long time, know that um, it is a pain in the butt for you to go and not only gear yourself, but you also have to gear your uh, companion. It can be a pain in the neck. Guess what? Next expansion, there is no more gearing your uh, companion. They already go up in the levels and their stats will go up and you won't have to worry about it. Um, now, uh, one of the big things is is uh, if you want a certain look other than the customization look that, that you want for a character or your follower, you can still have that. You won't have to worry about, you know, going and worrying about, uh, you know, do I have the right uh, settings on them and things like that. You won't have to worry about it. The next thing that, that uh, is going to be helping out is that all uh, followers will now be tanks, healers, or DPS. So if you were running with, again, uh, warrior, your first companion is vet. She will now be able to heal you because you'll be able to choose it. And what you do is you go over to her, uh, um, her portrait, click on it, and you can choose DPS, tank spec, or healing. This way you can run run with that. If you, that's all you want to do is run with that, the whole experience, you can. Um, you don't have to go and say, okay, I run vet from this point until I get to uh, Balmora, and then here comes Quinn. I've got to run him because he's a healer. Um, no longer do you have to worry about that. You can run anybody that you want. Um, also, any... Uh, characters that you have gotten from the cartel um, or from the free uh, uh, thing from like Nico Nico and uh, Treek you won't have to worry about them you're not losing them you will still have them and they will be playable now let me talk about this for a couple of uh, minutes now any gear set that you go and put on your uh, characters for their look, you'll be able to do. Now, the only ones that you won't be able to do, it is confirmed that any of the robots that you have will not ha have that customization except for uh, the customization slot that you get for that character. Um, like with Vet, you get it when you first, first get her. She's red, green, or blue. You'll have that. Excuse me. Um, the robots like T7, uh, Scorpio, uh, HK, um, they will not have a customization for, you know, gear. Uh, their regular customization you will have. Um, what I'm also understanding, uh, you will be getting uh, Mar in the beginning. You won't be able to customize him, so you won't be able to see what is behind that mask. I'm also finding out uh, the furry type um, followers like uh, Brumar from uh, uh, For the Warrior and also Treek, you won't, you won't have that. Everybody else, you will have. It has also been brought to my attention for those of you who play Jedi, of the Jedi warrior Lord Scourge they will be bringing back his old armor that he first he first came to you with so they're bringing some of that stuff back which is pretty freaking cool um, and again like I said I'm not going to go really far into the storyline actually I'm not going to go into the storyline I will say this at the beginning of uh Knights of the Old Republic you'll see your characters uh, your followers but they won't be coming with you um, and then you, you're you going to lose them So, but they're coming back now 
for those of you who are like, okay, I haven't heard any news. I don't know what's going on. SWOTOR or BioWare wants everybody to know, don't freak out. For all of you guys who have busted your butts to get um, your followers all geared up in the um, Yavin 4 gear that you've gotten for um, uh, doing all your dailies, as soon as uh, your followers go away, you'll be getting uh, mails through the game of all that gear. Uh, all that gear is not only wearable again to your companions but you can wear that gear too it's going to be um, um, custom type armor that you can put mods in and stuff like that and since I'm talking about mods and things like that for uh, those of us that have been playing for a long time we will no longer have the main stat for our players of aim strength willpower and cunning it is all being turned into uh, mastery so it'll be mastery and endurance and then we'll have the secondary stats like crit and also a crit um, uh, absorption defense that type of stuff if you want to hear if you want to learn a little bit more about that go to uh, swotor.com and check out the blogs on what has been uh, been changed. Now, last last but definitely not least is one of the biggest changes that actually, excuse me, not last yet. One of the biggest changes is coming to uh, Star Wars is the cartel. Anything that you have bought from the cartel, there is going to be a new part in the cartel where you've gotten all your stuff and all of it has been putting the, put together you're no longer going to have to search for that piece of armor or, or that Colto tank or um, that level um, uh, to get your uh, uh, to get your skills it will be all in one place you can collapse it uncollapse it I, I you know expand it collapse it it's really freaking cool. The next thing that is going to be coming out also in the legacy is um, all your datacrons will be on your legacy. So you, if you're going and saying, "Do I have all of the legacy, all of the uh, uh, datacrons from?" I'll use it again. Uh, Drome and cost. Do I have them all? You can go into your legacy and look and go, huh, I'm missing one." Okay, I need to go and go and find out where it is. Okay, now last but not least, let's talk about professions. Professions from this point forward are not going to go forward. So it, it, they're going to be max five hundred, um, and you're not. What I understand, you're not going to have to go back to your trainer um, ever again. Once you go there, you make your selection of what you want uh, to make you will have it um, there will be say you just started out um, doing uh, scavenging but you've been going through your uh, uh, your storyline and you've not collected or done any type of gathering but you're there on uh, Corellia but your gathering is one what's going to happen is you see a, uh, a scavenging pile, you hit the scavenging pile, and guess what? You no longer fail, nor do you get told you can't collect it. You may get, uh, you'll get like, if you're not at that uh, point where you can collect it, you get basically one piece of, uh, of scavenged material at that level. Say again, I've gone back to Drum and Koss, I'm level 60. I'm uh, working through my stuff um, and I go and find a, a scavenging pile. I've already maxed out at that planet. I go and collect the scavenging material. I get anywhere between 8 to 15 pieces of that scavenging. So they've made it a lot easier to gather materials, work on your uh, um, things as you're doing it, especially uh, um, 
your uh, diplomacy and other types of mission quests like that. And also, here's the next thing. You will no longer have green items uh, to, uh, uh, to make because everything now is going to be blue. Um, all the uh, uh, blue items or all of the gear that is being made will be moddable. Uh, so you'll be able to put, you know, your armor mods, your enhancements, anything that it needs, you'll be able to do on a blue, um, which is really good. Now, here, here is the thing. Um, you go and collect your, um, let's give you an example. Now how it works is you go and gather all your stuff, you sit there, you send your guys out to make or craft all these different armor pieces. You wait 15, 20 minutes, depending on what level you are. You wait for it all to come back. You DE everything. Keep your fingers crossed that something's going to proc so you'll get a new recipe. That's not going to be happening anymore. Basically, what's going to be happening is, yes, there is going to be blue things. However, what it is is material to make the blues. So you've got... Uh, a couple of things that you've got to make to make a chess piece um, in armor making. So you go and do up the, the first component. You go and throw it up there to uh, um, to make your, your blue chest. You go and DE or uh, reverse engineer these uh, chess pieces you will no longer have to keep your fingers crossed or go, okay, is this statistically correct that I'm going to be able to get something out of this? You will, out of every DE that you get, either a um, recipe or a higher um, piece of uh, uh, material that you may need later on. They've made it easier, and they've made a lot of different stuff in this game, especially in uh, in professions, a lot easier to do that you don't have to worry about sitting there for hours going, oh dear God, I'm going to have to sit here for hours trying to get all this stuff, and basically sitting there waiting for the gear to get done, watching Netflix because you've got all this stuff to do. Um, again, it, it, I'm rambling, and it, it, you'll have to, to check it out even more because, like I said, I wanted to keep this short um, and uh, everything that, that Star Wars has put out about this is on their, uh, on their pages under uh, uh, blog. You go to uh, StarWars.com and just look for blogs actually it's on the front page all you got to do is look underneath um, and underneath the uh, the main heading and it's right there um, it's really easy uh, really easy to comprehend and uh, it's one of the things that I myself really appreciate what Bioware has done that when it's coming to getting everybody ready for this expansion Bioware has done a really great job. Um, end of Star Wars. Want to uh, for the end of the show, I want to say uh, give out a couple of uh, actually three um, shout outs to uh, people who have helped out that don't even know that they've helped out. I want to say uh, give a shout out to Kid Lee. Uh, you can check him out on YouTube. Just type in YouTube Kid Lee. He does Let's Play Star Wars, all types of Bioware uh, gaming. You can check him out on uh, every Saturday. If you like uh, Star Wars, you can check him ever, out every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time uh, Why he plays through some of his characters on, uh, on uh, Twitch. Hold on a second. Um, or you can go to his YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash The next person I want to give a big shout out to is 
uh, Ash or Lady Insanity. Again, you can find her on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Ash Lady Insanity. You can also find the, these uh, people on Twitch. Just go by their uh, call sign that I'm telling you about uh, at Kid Lee at Lady Insanity. And also, my last one that I want to give is to Cyber Elf. Cyber Elf has been doing a lot of things to help people get ready for this expansion. And again, these three people have been busting their butt, and I want to say thank you very much. You're a asset to this community, and check these people out. They are great people. That's uh, Kid Lee, at Kid Lee, at uh, Lady Insanity, and at Cyber Elf. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, hit like. If you want to hear more about me or more about uh, Dre's Corner or my uh, uh, streams that are going on, hit subscribe. They'll be going on. Now, when uh, Twitch TV goes to the upload, I will stop being uh, stop using youtube and i'll be uploading completely to twitch tv um, and i'll give you guys a update on that now also ladies and gentlemen again like i said i want to thank you very much for listening thank you again ladies and gentlemen my name is drathan aka the blind tank and you've been listening to dre's corner emmy cue up the music and let's get out of here <laughs>